and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. Now, I'm in the Ford Transit Connect. Now, this vehicle is coming on the market uh, very soon, I think this year. This is a delivery van. This is an urban delivery van. And uh, why am I sitting in an urban delivery van? I'll have to show you very simply, because this is me turning it on. That's it, it's on. Now, as you all know, urban delivery vans are normally diesel and therefore normally very noisy. But this one, of course, because I'm in it, is electric. So I'm gonna, what's the turning circle like? Very good, very nice, very comfy. Anyway, so this is, so you're doing your deliveries in London or in Manchester or Birmingham or Leeds. I'm not being London centric, although I am in London at the moment. And uh, you're sitting in constant traffic jams, slow moving traffic all day, delivering stuff, picking stuff up. What do you want to be doing? Probably not putting your foot on the clutch, having the engine going <laughs> all the time, accelerating, changing gear, slowing down. This car removes all those problems, really. This is, this is honestly and truthfully, I've just sat in it just then, turned it on and I'm driving it now. That's as much training as you need. It's very, very simple and straightforward to drive. No gears to worry about, no clutch to worry about. It's got a faster pedal and a stop pedal and a steering wheel and that's about it. And it's big roomy car, I mean it's not, it's a, a van, it's got big uh, carrying capacity in the back. I'll see what the acceleration is like. <laughs> I have to say, not what you expect from a, from a van. <laughs> that is amazing. It's a wicked little fast little whippy around delivery van. Got to drop off a load of bread down the corner. You know, it's just so nippy to get round. And look, now I'm sitting in a traffic jam. The classic case for this sort of vehicle. There's tens of thousands of these on the on the roads in England, doing deliveries and picking up stuff and moving stuff. And what do they do for three quarters of the time they're being used? They sit still like this. So I'll give you the quick rundown of this. It's a lithium-ion battery pack, obviously electric drive. Um, it has, uh, it is a hundred kilograms heavier than the standard diesel uh, Ford Connect to the same size vehicle as this. It has a range of about 70 miles, so it doesn't have a hundred mile range, which is often the kind of uh, become the gold standard for electric vehicles. Because that's the thing you think, oh my god, I need more than 70 miles. Well, a delivery van that's driving around a city, in terms of miles, it's not going that far. 70 miles driving around London all day is all day. You'd be bored senseless, you know, if you tried to do 70 miles in the centre of London. Because you're not, you're going at an average speed of 10, 12 miles an hour. So work it out, do the math, that's a lot of hours to do 70 miles. So it's well within the capabilities of what a vehicle like this needs to do. Now, I'm, I'd love to do an estimation. So we were sitting still there for probably two minutes. So if you think a diesel engine running for two minutes, just ticking over, it's gonna use not gallons, it's not gallons, it's a fraction. But you multiply that over a year of sitting static in traffic with an engine ticking over, so it, would, it would add up to many, many hundreds of hours a year. Would you imagine leaving your van, your delivery van, running overnight, just because that's what you do, 12 hours. That will use a lot of fuel, and that's what it's doing week in, week out, in the, in the sort of congested traffic we've got now. There is no argument. Because here's the thing, say you've got um, uh, a delivery company and you deliver cakes to Patisserie Valerie all over the centre of London. So you're, you're, and you've got a one central depot where all the vans are and where the bakery is and you know that. And what's that one central depot got? I'll tell you what it's got, it's got a roof. What could you put on that roof? Oh, you could put flower pots, you could put your rubbish, you could store um, um, plastic buckets I don't know I mean what can you put on or you could put on solar panels so you cover your entire roof of your large industrial building with solar panels you use that electricity to recharge your cars it's not going to give you all the electricity you need but it's going to give you a large amount it's going to reduce your costs the initial investment is higher because this the standard um, Ford Transit I don't know what it is about 24,000 quid or something like this one is more this one is 40,000 but within two years you've got that back and you have to look at it in the longer term because that's probably what we're going to have to do. Start looking at things in longer term. The other thing that Ford's saying that this car, the normal transits get changed over, that's what they call it, the diesel ones, every two or three years because they're knackered. Because all that vibration, all that strain, all that heat, it really takes the stuff out of the machine even if it's really well made. So people 
trade up all the time. So they'll trade. So there'll be a second-hand van. You know, it'll go down the market as it as it progresses. This one, they're talking about ten years. Ten years. You won't need to do anything to this van for ten years. The batteries will last for ten years, and that is probably around uh, 150,000 miles in that time because the strain on this these batteries is fairly low it's all and the strain on the motor is really low that is a classic moment uh this is the perfect demonstration of why i think this car is so brilliant so i've just been coming up a long hill latchmere road sw11 south london battersea coming up the hill up to the main road up here and constant stop start traffic red lights big queue normal stuff stuck right behind me is a white renault delivery van and uh, I'm sitting here in complete silence and when the car in front moves, I go forward a bit. No hill starts, no handbrakes, no clutch, no nothing. And I hear the one behind all the time. So he's constantly having to do all that clutch and foot brake manipulation, handbrake, hill start. All of that is gone in this car. This car will, in, if you could just measure it in terms of energy, this car will have used 10% of the of, of kilojoules of energy of, of you know thermal heat components than the one behind it's it, and, and you know it's it's crazy to have that complex a piece of machinery that requires that complex level of, of manual dexterity and manipulation i mean yes it was groovy in the olden days when you had brass pedals and you had to turn knobs and things to adjust your timing mechanisms in your inflow manifold and all that stuff but i mean come on it's move on a little bit this car you know it, 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 it is not an interesting drive i'm not going for an interesting drive down a beautiful scottish glen or through the italian alps you know i'm driving around battersea and clapham delivering bread in it for patisserie valerie pat vowels you know that's what i'm doing it's not an exciting thrilling drive where you want to feel the raw nature of the machine it's getting the deliveries done on time pulling out into traffic like that and not pissing off other drivers so much you can get in a fight. <laughs> and this van does it so much easier.